Hi friends, today we are going to see demo on database roles, which is a very new uh, feature in Snowflake. So there are multiple use cases uh, which we can fulfill uh, by using the database role. But today we are going to capture the Snowflake database role uses and behavior with the account role. So basically we want to see how database role work in Snowflake and uh, what is different between the database role versus account role and the basic uses use cases so if you had not seen my recent blog on database role then i would recommend you to please uh, go through them to understand where and how we can use the database role in snowflake so let's start with the demo so today for uh, this demo uh, we are going to create this setup uh, in which we have uh, two different database and each database has multiple uh, database level role on a hierarchy on a hierarchy so basically the read role is uh, assigned to read write and read write is assigned to admin role and then admin role is assigned to account level role so basically role environment admin is a account level role uh, which resides outside database and all the other role which you see inside the database is basically the database level role so we have two different database and two different sets of uh, database roles which are tagged to uh, in uh, account level role and an account level role is tagged to end user so without uh, wasting time let's start with the demo and then we will discuss further detail so basically on this demo you will see that i am uh, going to use the account admin role to make my life simple uh, i don't want to create uh, lots of setup so i'm going to just use the existing account admin role uh, but you can always create different custom role and use this setup used warehouse so basically i'm using the existing compute warehouse so as you have seen on the diagram uh, i'm going to create a database called db role demo one and schema called data and create one dummy table called demo one similarly i will create another database and the same dummy table so once this is created uh, I'm just going to refresh so that you can see that database and the schema and the table is created already over here. So you can see on the left hand side, but at the moment I'm on the account admin role, so everything is visible to me. I'm just going to, yeah. So now I'm going to uh, create a database level role. So to create a database level role, you need to first uh, use the schema uh, where you want to create or the date so basically the where you want to create the database level role so you have to choose the database under which you want to create the role so i'm just choosing the schema as well because i wanted to create something another than i uh, mean like other than database level role so i'm just going to create the database level role to create the database level role there is a slight change on the syntax where you have to specifically mention that this role is a database level role so when we create a role, a uh, normal account level role, we always create create or replace role and then role name. So generally that role resides outside database, not inside database. And these are the database level role and this resides inside the database and the scope of this role is within database only. So you can't grant this database role to another database role, which is on another database. You can only grant the database level role to the account level role you can't grant this database level role directly to any user this database level role will not be visible under the context menu over here so if you go here you will see only the account level role or the standard role but not the database level role we will see quickly now so let me just create this database level role so once i am creating this all the database level role let me create this as well as for the database number two so I have created three roles on the database one uh, and the dummy database number two. And now I will also create the account level role. So this is how we create the general, like always we create this kind of role, right? So now you, if, if I go here and click here, you will see that, uh, let me refresh. I think this UI of snow site is not, not automatically getting refreshed when we create some new objects. So basically if I go here, now you will see that oh okay this is not visible because i have not assigned this rule to anything let me quickly do that 
let me grant the warehouse to this and grant this role to sysadmin so i believe now we will start seeing this role over here let me refresh this yeah so now once i tag this role to sysadmin it comes under the role hierarchy and now we this role is also visible over here so now you can see that role environment admin is account level role which is visible over here but none of the database level role which we have created is visible over here so this is one of the difference and this also create a secure secure parameter around database where uh, earlier it was not possible because whenever you create any role whether regardless you term this as a database level role but it's still that those role are visible on the context and people might use that database level role <laughs> which you have created with the terminology like access level role or the functional role and you really don't want that role to be visible on the means like uh, on the context menu basically those are the hidden or the pre-created standard role which you uh, were creating earlier to manage the access at the database level or the schema level but you really don't want those role to be exposed into the direct to the world so those were not earlier possible but now this is pretty much possible with the introduction of database level role where database level role will behave in the same way how your earlier account level role were behaving the only thing is earlier it was not restricted to database level so date one database level means like earlier the account level role can be visible outside and also can be granted cross database and everything so because of those things uh, sometime it also creates mess when people start creating the one one uh, database level specific role to other database and creating the cross database which is not always required and needs to be done uh, with a uh, proper uh, access pattern and uh, unless it will start creating confusion in the arbic hierarchy so with the, with the introduction of this database level role this is no more possible because you can't grant this role to any other database level role so if your both the database has the database level role so you can't grant them even if you want you have to go via the account uh, role so you have to you can grant this role and this role to account role and create a common uh, role so this is what we have done so now you can see that uh, we have created this role and we have granted this to um, sysadmin to create the role hierarchy and now uh, what i'm going to do is like i'm going to populate the uh, database level role with the specific privileges i wanted to give to the read only role so i'm just going to give the select on all table to read only and then uh, all the dml operation to the read write so let me do this one more thing is like you can't grant the warehouse uses to the database level role because warehouse decides outside database and you can't grant anything which is deciding outside database role so database role scope is very limited to all the object we reside within the database nothing you can grant which is outside your database similarly i will do the same for the uh, second database and uh, before doing that i just wanted to give the uh, role hierarchy within the database as well so this is where i created the privileges i given the privileges to the database level role now i am going to create the hierarchy where i am going to give the grant of read only role to read write and read write role to admin role so that there is the uh, role hierarchy within the database itself similarly i am going to do the same thing for the database 2 so i am going to do that same and now that uh, all the grants is ready within the database now i am going to join so basically now i am going to give this grant to the role environment admin and this database 2 role to role environment admin so let me go here and i'm just going to give the grant of database level role also uh, i just forgot to mention that you have to use specifically grant database database role so earlier when we used to give the grant we used to give the grant role role name to role and the role so in case you are granting the database level role to any uh, account level role this can be done by this like so if the source is the database level role so you have to give grant database role and then database role name if the target is the account role then you have to use the two role 
but in case you are giving the one database rule to another database rule within the same database you have to use this rule like grant database rule database rule name to database rule another database rule name in the same account just make sure that both the database rule resides in the same database else their statement will fail so let me quickly give the database level role outside the database to the account role and now I am going to just give the uh, role environment admin to my existing user so if I go here and give this role to user this is possible but suppose I wanted to give the same thing uh, to my existing user directly with the database role which I said it's not possible I just wanted to show you that this is really not possible so just let me do a grant database level role to user and if I try to give it to my uh, end user will not able to do that unexpected user because this is not allowed so you can't do anything so this is another security uh, feature where you can't directly tag any database level role to any user or uh, other database level role so suppose uh, similar thing if I wanted to go ahead and try to do that like I wanted to grant the database uh, demo one read write to database rule two demo db admin so these are two different database so database one database two and two different rule if I want to do that this is also going to give me error so this is also database rule db read write does not belong to a database where where database rule db demo2 is created which means you can only grant within the database not outside the database so this is also clear now if you want to list down all the database level role in a particular database you have, can use so schema in database and then database basically this is to just show the schema sorry so you can see that these are the schema this is not required and uh, these are basically i just was doing some uh, r d to see the current role uh, one thing is like you can't see the grant of uh, database level role so if you want to see what all grant you have given to the database level role uh, which i didn't find anything uh, so maybe at the moment it's not ready or it is not allowed to see what you have granted to database level role but you you can always do the uh, you can always see the grant of the uh, account level role so account role you can always do so grant to role and then you will able to see that this uh, in one, this account level role has the database level role grant but the same thing if i wanted to do uh, for the database level role it will error out and similarly we can also always see the like grant of the user so you can see that my user also has a account level role access now if i want to see what all uh, database level role is in my database so i can go and execute show database roles in database and then database name and that will list down all the database level role so normally if you do the show roles it will not list on this role anywhere because database role is specifically uh, or intentionally kept outside the normal uh, role stuff so you will not able to see anything related to database in the normal show roles or anything so you can see on the demo two this so uh, yeah this is what i wanted to show you like if you want to say show grant to role on this role you will error out it will say like it, it doesn't find the role because this role is not visible so at this moment i don't see any uh, way you can see the grants of the database level role uh, but maybe in future because this is in preview uh, you might see that is also available by the time it is g so now that we have already did this uh, demo so just wanted to recap that uh, database level role is a very good initiative because earlier there were lots of restriction and because of that uh, when people have the access uh, because of any reason they might create the mess on the RBAC they might touch the standard RBAC setup and create the issue but with the introduction of database level role and in future if we implement the same uh, for all the standard access this is going to strengthen our security perimeter around the database level uh, privileges uh, sorry data level privilege 
uh, on the control side. Hope you like this demo and if you like this demo, please uh, subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you.